chosen youth as our leader. Because we are not united. Now, celebrities are holding concerts everywhere and involved in all kinds of shows. But, are we well intentioned enough to stay united towards a goal? This is usually the issue. Take for example, it's going to be one year in a few days of the NSAS protests that happened October 20th, 2020. And we remember the killings and the shootouts and everything that happened. Up until now, we do not have a leader. Because we are not united. So what's the, what does that say about us? The government has done well to distract us, but who's to blame us? The society we live in is not like the ones we, we had during the passengers' time. Now, our economic situation is, is highly unstable. The, infl the inflation rates, Nigerian era not having value, living expenses so high. There are so many issues that people consider now, even as celebrities. So you would ask yourself, is it really worth it going down the line to impose whoever we want? So my gear is my thought. On Punch newspaper a few days ago, there was an article about Abu Bakr on Punch, and it said that Nigerians were going to vote PDP in the next elections, and people counted that. People counted it, including myself. But I was like, if you even want us to consider that, let's have Obi, let's have Saraki. And people went out for me. People said, Saraki, for what? Well, my thought was, Mr. Obi and Saraki, we need somebody from the north if an election is going to hold. What we call zoning. So, which northern leader is capable enough, is widespread enough, has enough exposure to get Nigeria out of this rubble, to get our votes? Obi is a man that can be trusted. Obi has a track record of excellence. Obi has a track record of leadership. Obi has a track record of empowering women, a track record of empowering the youth. So let's go with Obi. Let's go with Obi. If we cannot still at this point have a chosen leader who is chosen by the youth to handle office as a president, then let's have Obi. Let's put our heads together. The thing about Nigeria is would they allow tribal would tribalism allow us to even select Obi in the first place? Let's go for those who have a record of achieving certain things, who have a record of implementing certain policies that are beneficial to their people. Let's go with those who have a record of empowering the youth and giving the youth a voice, who have records about pulling Nigeria, about pulling their sectors out of the moon, who are technocrats in their field. Okay. But I think he's capable enough to pull Nigeria out of the world we found ourselves in. Nigerian youth should rally around him. They should do what they can. In your constituencies, talk about it. Ginger about it. Make noise about it. Educate your people, sensitize your people about the need to vote for Obi. We need to take the bull by the horn. Nigerians have been through a lot. It's time we did something drastic about it. And that is collectively choosing a man who has the credibility the credibility, the experience, the track record of making change, positive change happen, to let our businesses thrive. Obi has that record. Since we are not able to find amongst ourselves to be united to choose one of us, let's do well to choose a man who has the record, who is already out there, and look for somebody to join hands with him. You would like us to continue this conversation at some other point, at some other time. I'm very open to talking about the issues of 2023 elections with you. Thank you so much.